Getting prepped. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. And just like every kitchen should have a fire extinguisher, we always have them on hand for our experiments. These CO2 fire extinguishers are pretty powerful, though, so we want to see if we can use them to power a go-kart. Engineer Nick Householder and builder Chris Jufre are crafting the perfect vehicle to test them out. And now, Nick is ready to get behind the wheel. So this is our rocket car? This is our rocket car. The hoses will release CO2 from the tanks, but will they provide enough thrust to move a 230-pound go-kart and a 205-pound driver? And just pull the lever. OK. And off you'll go. I always wanted to be a test pilot, so. Good luck to you. I guess I will start here. I will take care of your dog. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. So uh, Kevin, what are we going to learn from uh, doing this experiment? How loud you can scream. <laughs> <laughs> if it catches on fire, and we have plenty of fire extinguishers. Wonderful. Opening up the valve of a fire extinguisher and allowing the pressurized contents to escape is similar to the way a rocket engine works. When the liquid CO2 inside the fire extinguisher expands into a gas, the carbon dioxide pushes out. That action creates thrust. I'm ready. Sweet. Let's do it. We use the lightest materials we can to create less drag on the car. Plus, we used thin bicycle wheels for tires so that less surface area is in contact with the road. Getting prepped. Less contact means less friction and more speed. As Nick gets into position, some curious onlookers gather to watch. 40 pounds of CO2 on the back. All right. Uh, that we're going to feed through that tube, blow it out the back. Like a boosted person. And exactly. The rest of the power exactly. is going to transfer through. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. With just two extinguishers, Nick hits speeds of 15 miles per hour over a distance of about 300 feet. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. That was cool. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Darren's slow-mo reveals the liquid carbon dioxide expanding into a gas. It expands with such force that it propels the go-kart forward. You're spewing pebbles of dry ice from behind you. You might want to know. <laughs> That's it's kind like, of cool. It's like shooting candy. Yeah. <laughs> Our fire extinguisher go-kart has got some thrust, propelling Nick 300 feet to the end of the parking lot before running out of room. But how much farther can it go? To find out, we're heading to a nearby drag strip. To harness the cart's maximum potential, we're doubling the number of extinguishers. So uh, tell me about the track. I noticed it's nice and smooth. Our track is uh, 660 feet. It's an eighth of a mile. It is full concrete. And then on top of that, we use a compound of uh, VHT that makes the track sticky so the tires will grab and create traction. Do you think we're going to even be able to get to the finish line with this thing? Uh, maybe by sundown. 660 feet a week? Yep. Yeah, exactly. sounds about yeah. right. Sounds yeah. about right. <laughs> All right, well, there's only one way to find out. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! These canisters of CO2 can go the distance. They propel Nick 650 feet down the track at almost 30 miles per hour and more than double our earlier try. That was impressive. Pretty neat. Yeah. Thanks very much. That's generous. So, Not going to get us to space, but it's a good start. Exactly. You had 29 miles an hour in 22 seconds. That's not half bad. I'm a rocket scientist in a rocket car. It's hard not to have a good time. Exactly. 